I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. Welcome to the Vinny G Markets channel brought to you by Vinny G Money. Now, before we get into this video, I just want to say this is going to be more opinion based than anything. Where the markets are going right now, how it's moving. To be honest, nobody knows how this market is going to react going forward. So, again, we're going to hit y'all with some facts, but it's going to be more opinion based than anything. And due to time constraints, a lot of this stuff is just going to be off the top of my head i'm not going to do as much research as i normally do when i'm putting out these videos so a lot of the sources to this information is just going to be trust me on that bro sprinkled in with some just bad information so let's get right into it the markets overall have just been bad for the year year to date from their all-time highs no matter how you want to put it the markets have been getting hit hard as of late and we've been stating on this channel that it's been a corrective phase um that they're going to bounce back sooner or later put talking about possible higher highs but something happened this week that what we're looking for and that's that spike in that 10-year yield we're gonna go over that but these interest rates did go into a spike in mechanism before something happened and cooled it off but we have the S&P 500 for the month down almost six percent the Dow Jones for the month down almost 4.37 percent and we have the Nasdaq it's down for the month 5.8 percent and what's interesting about the Nasdaq and tech in general this last trading day on friday tech and the nasdaq had a nice little rally and it is because the interest rates did drop out of nowhere which brings us to our three indicators we have the u.s 10-year treasury at 3.23 if you look at the monthly chart you see there was a spike on around june 9th from june 9th it shot up all the way to 3.5 you can just look at the chart and you see this was a straight line up this was a spike in an uncontrollable fashion which is our first signal there might be major problems in the debt market and we all know the stock market is a derivative of the debt market this is all stuff we constantly go over in our prior videos i know the information is old but if you go to the prior videos you see the storyline of what's been playing out and how we've come here today the stock market just like everything else is rigged it's all storyline it's all wwe same thing with sports it's all storyline and it's the same thing with the economy politics whatever it may be it's all rigged it's all storyline so you have to file the storyline of the stock market to see where we're heading and what plans they actually have for us and that's what we're going to go over as well in this video but the u.s 10-year treasury we see has been rising and that's just not good for the stock market there was a little relief especially for the nasdaq on that friday because you see the rates did stop dropping and dropping hard in two days which makes no sense because the federal reserve announced a 75 base this point rate hike that's more aggressive than we thought they would they actually about a month or so ago we go over this in our last video they took a 75 basis point hike off the table then they do it a month later but this isn't the first time the federal reserve lied to us they've been saying inflation was transitory and they had it under control so they just lie again we go over this in all our videos the federal reserve they just lie to us every once in a while to throw people off but let's take a look the u.s dollar index that's been wrong and two this is concerning we currently sit at 104.65 it did go all the way to 105 and this is concerning because we were tossing up the rise in the u.s dollar index due to the russia ukraine situations as of late at least through the mainstream media there haven't been any crazy escalations going on being reported to us so like we always state the rise in that u.s dollar index that's not good for the stock market as well we take a look at our third indicator crude oil crude oil did start surging again this past month before it took a major hit on friday and that's because of the inflation numbers they think because inflation people are going to go out less and things like that so less people driving so the demand for crude oil is going to get lower due to the inflation numbers don't buy that nonsense inflation for essential items that go into the basic cost of goods such as energy and things like that that's going to continue to go higher amongst the people they have to inflict pain amongst the people to take out the middle class so as we state that crude oil currently sits at 109.56 that's going to continue to go up this was a nice drop a nice buying opportunity in my opinion again you got to do your own research but we're going to go over where we should be allocating our portfolios again i'm not a financial advisor it's not financial advice you got to do your own research i'll state this as well if you follow me you're gonna lose money so just keep that in mind going forward so first this past month we had an inflation 
inflation report. I think it's a CPI report. I don't know the exact numbers, but I know it was much worse than expected. We expected that here on the Vinny G Markets channel because we know inflation is out of control. And from there, people thought it was an absolute possibility that the Fed is going to go and raise rates more aggressively, which is what they wound up doing. But this is all before that. On top of that, you have problems in China with the Evergrande Bank situation. They're going bankrupt. So those debt holders, those that bought debt from Evergrande, those investors aren't going to get paid. We were under the perception that there was going to be some type of bailout that they would have been saved, but they haven't. And we're following China. That's why China is always a step ahead of us. They already had lower interest rates followed by higher interest rates, now followed by lower interest rates. They had a second lockdown. They're a step ahead of us when it comes to the cryptocurrencies, the digital yuan. They already have their own central bank digital currency in use. You could look up in our prior videos or you could do your own research, the Belt and Road Initiative. So when you have a major bank like this going bankrupt, you could just expect, it might not have to be a bank, but you could expect in the United States, corporations, bigger corporations starting to go bankrupt as well. And that's going to cause a crisis in the debt market, which might have already started. So once that happened, that's why you saw interest rates rising as well. And then the Federal Reserve, they did follow through with a 75 basis point rate hike and also Revlon filed for bankruptcy. I'm not saying they're a huge company, but investors could be looking at this, that this bankruptcy trend is probably going to continue, especially as these companies are buried with debt as the interest rates just grow higher. Because what's happening is as that US 10 year treasury rises, which it went up to almost 3.5, people are saying, why am I going to invest in corporate debt? I know these corporations, they only have their doors open due to the amount of money they were borrowing. Now that they can't borrow this amount of money, we're going to see more bankruptcies. The US 10 year treasury investing in United States debt is a much safer asset than investing in corporate debt right now. So if there's less corporate bonds being sold because those investors are now moving to the United States treasury bonds, that's just going to be less money for these corporations. These corporations are not going to be flush with cash as they once were. And what were these companies doing when they were flush with cash? They were buying back their own stocks. So when they buy back their own stocks, that's inflating the price of their stocks as well. So if they're not getting money through these corporate bonds anymore, that's one of the programs that we could see disappearing, which is going to hurt the stock market, which is why we were looking for this rise in the US 10 year treasury in the first place. So the US 10 year treasury that peaked on Tuesday at 3.5%. And this is a trust me on that, bro. The only reason why it came down is because the Federal Reserve, they came in and started buying debt. And when they buy debt, that brings the yields down and the price is higher. And that's exactly what happened. And something significant happened Tuesday. I'm shocked that the media doesn't report on this more. Nobody's speaking about this. But the European Central Bank and the European Central Bank obviously is a central bank, just like the Federal Reserve. All these banks run the world. That's what the Federal Reserve is. They're all under the BIS. You could do your own research. And we go over these in prior videos as well. But on Tuesday, we have European Central Bank to create new tool to address fragmentation risk and temper bond route. Now, if you like me and had the vocabulary of a third grader, you would have to look up fragmentation. So we look up fragmentation. We have the act of process of fragmenting, state of being fragmented, the disinterrogation, collapse or breakdown of norms of thought, behavior or social relationship, the pieces of an exploded and fragmentation bomb or grenade. So this is nothing good. This is the collapse of the debt market. The European Central Bank is telling you there's a debt market crisis right here. This is all the proof I need to see to know we're in the debt market crisis. But the European Central Bank announced Wednesday that it plans to create a new tool to tackle the risk of Eurozone fragmentation. It comes after the ECB surprised market participants by announcing an emergency meeting to address higher borrowing costs for many European governments. So trust me on this, bro. Whatever this new tool is, this was used in the United States. The Federal Reserve, because it's a central bank as well, use this tool, whatever it was, whatever it does. And that's what dropped the US 10 year treasury on Wednesday from 3.5 to 3.23. That's a major drop in just two days. That wasn't a bunch of people rushing in to buy United States debt. That was the Federal Reserve buying a bunch of United States debt with this new tool. So the market can go either way in this sense. If that new tool is used for more quantitative ease and where that money is going to find its way into the stock market, the stock market could easily turn around.
around and start going much higher again this isn't all opinion based i don't believe it's going to be used for that this new tool it's going to be used to control the u.s 10-year treasury those interest rates where they want this interest rate to rise but not in a fashion like that where it's telling me this might be a more controlled collapse of the stock market where it'll just be a slow grind down as opposed to some type of flash crash but either way i'm going to state how i feel we could best position ourselves again you got to do your own research you will lose money doing this but i want to make an attempt to help the bob wiley's of the world <laughs> this guy you got me cracking up i don't know if he's serious with the things he says or but you know i'm out here trying to help but bob wiley i, I don't know what you say sometimes but i feel most of our portfolios could remain the same i know we had some bad calls on the big banks and even defense contractors they haven't moved like we thought they would move but that's just from the overall market being down but if you've been investing in crude oil these energy producers the, the commodity etfs those are three spots that are actually making money while the rest of the market is down crude oil and energy they took such a big hit on friday they've been the worst performer even monthly but since it was such a big drop that's why i would have no problem taking losses on selling let's say part of the big banks of defense contractors and putting it into oil and energy you can't be worried about taking a loss especially if that remaining money could best be used elsewhere you have to ask yourself is this money gonna be used to make money in this area or that area if it's the other area you can't worry about selling if it's at a loss to move that money somewhere else that's all your ego you need to get rid of your ego when it comes to investing fear and greed are the biggest emotions when it comes to the stock market don't fall into those we could just go by what we know and what we do know is the central banks they have a new tool that's going to affect the debt market we know that the overall plan of the nwo is to wipe out the middle class so inflation needs to run higher all inflation retail manufacturing reports whatever economic reports that have been coming out they've been worse than expected the economy is well past recession again i don't know what we're in people savings a drain credit card debt is through the roof personal household debt is through the roof real wages aren't keeping up with inflation while inflation continues to rise at an uncontrollable pace mortgage demand has been plummeting but the prices of houses are still going through the roof gas prices are through the roof energy prices are through the roof food prices are through the roof and yes i do like my food etfs as well those have for the month wheat down about 10 percent. definitely not great but still like it will continue to accumulate whenever i can tags um down about three percent for the month really not bad but we have the 4th of july coming and the 4th of july it's one of the big food consuming days also a big gas consuming day because people need to ride wherever they get into we have independence day 2020 from the national retail federation about 84 dollars and 12 cents planned per person spending on food items for independence day and how to consume is planned to celebrate this year we have cookout barbecue picnic with the majority each of those places people got to drive to where they're going to so i wouldn't be surprised if we do see spikes in gas and food within these next two weeks as we approach the 4th of july and this coincides with the economic storyline of destroying the middle class so that's why i would still like energy crude oil food etfs as long as other commodity etfs with this debt market crisis looming the stock market could easily start getting drained that's why i'm not as bullish as i once was just on the overall stock market i think what we can start doing is and this is going to make me sound like a jo but the truth is i don't have the type of money to move the markets anyway so what's going to happen is going to happen doesn't matter how i invest but what's coming next is people's jobs and their 401ks in our last video we went over the the warning shots by the federal reserve they want to fight inflation by curbing consumer consumption the way they want to do that is to take away jobs and lessen the labor market that's the only thing saving this economy right now it's easy to find the job the unemployment numbers are rather good that's why we even stopped going over them but as more bankruptcies loom i know there's been more layoffs especially in these tech companies because these tech companies know they're not going to do good in a rising interest rate environment and tech companies are a big part of people's 401ks so when it comes to options and we know we use options to try to earn that passive income as opposed to put credit spreads we could start looking for call credit spreads or even just straight buying option strategies at least with buying options i find it a little less risky than just short in a stock when you short a stock your risk is unlimited when you buy an option you're only risking the amount of money you put in it but that's why money management comes into it as well but we need to 
find ways to make money while the market is going down this is how you accumulate wealth it's not buying when things are high you have to learn how to accumulate money while we're in a bear market so while we're accumulating money we could buy these suppressed assets that are about to go on sale that are about to have massive discounts when a market crash comes it's going to present a lot of buying opportunities but unfortunately people just aren't going to be able to afford to invest they either buried in debt whether it's student loan debt or house debt mortgage debt whatever it may be they're just not going to be able to invest when this market takes a hit and actually when the market takes a hit their accounts their 401ks are probably going to get drained anyway we're about to enter some really bad times the united states next two or three years are probably going to be some of the worst years in its existence and we're only amplifying it when we have such an entitled generation we haven't seen anything anything yet um again we're well past the recession but we're trying to break out of the matrix that's what this is all about we know money can't buy everything but money what it does it does buy you time and that's the most important commodity you have it comes first you have to get your relationship with god first then you have your family and health money helps you spend more time with your family because you don't have to work crazy amounts of hours at a job and it also helps with your health because as food becomes more expensive to get access to healthier foods you're gonna need money as well it, that's just the end result it is what it is so that's why you need to do something if you're part of the middle class and you're doing what you're doing and you're already not getting ahead in the current environment when the environment gets even harder when the economy even worsens when they go for your jobs and wages it's just going to become harder to accumulate wealth but remember you get what you pay for and the Vinny G Marcus channel is free that's why I'm looking into the market of options I'm not saying that's the greatest way to make money it sure is hell risky but it's the only way I know to break out of this well even if you're buying protective puts against your long-term investments it's almost as a way of buying insurance for your portfolio so going forward I do want to make videos on specific ways we could just try to make money in this market no matter what it's doing our long-term investments we have energy crude oil commodity ETFs we still want to hold on to our you know maybe some of the big banks here and there defense contractors maybe not as big oh and again you know our food ETFs and when it comes to options trying to make passive income as opposed to looking for support levels we're now going to look for resistant levels and those are going to be our entry points to buy either just buy puts or call credit spreads and we could even trade around interest rate volatility i want to get into that more in our next videos and our next videos just give examples on how we could possibly try to make money in this market in either direction because at the Vinny g markets channel we don't lay down we try to make money no matter what the market is doing we out here on our get rich or die trying attitude so if you like what you hear, come mess with your boy, Hulk smash that like button. And as always, I'll leave you off with this. The God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is real. And may he bless you. Am I getting fired? I don't know. Yeah. Almost definitely yes. Are you? No. Seth, it's nothing you did. You're just in the wrong firm at the wrong time. The young guys are always the first to get culled. Listen, nothing I'm going to say is going to make you feel any better. It's just going to suck for a while and then you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. For what it's worth, I'm sorry this is happening to you. Don't be, you, you didn't do it to me. Still, at least you can have some nice cash to walk away with. I guess. Shit, this is really gonna affect people. Yeah, it's gonna affect people like me. Um, no. real, real, real people. Jesus, Seth. Listen, if you really wanna do this with your life, you have to believe you're necessary, and you are. People want to live like this in their cars and their big fucking houses they can't even pay for. Then you're necessary. The only reason that they all get to continue living like kings is because we got our fingers on the scales in their favor. I take my hand off. 
and then the whole world gets really fucking fair really fucking quickly and nobody actually wants that they say they do but they don't they want what we have to give them but they also want to you know play innocent and pretend they have no idea where it came from well that's more hypocrisy than i'm willing to swallow so fuck fuck normal people you know the funny thing is tomorrow if all of this goes tits up they're gonna crucify us for being too reckless but if we're wrong and everything gets back on track well then the same people are gonna laugh till they piss their pants because we're gonna look like the biggest pussies god ever let through the door